Hey YouTube, if you've been watching some of my earlier videos, you'd know that I have replaced the steering arm on my tractor in order to make room for the front end loader project. I did this video to show you how I went about it, and I imagine it would be much the same on any compact tractor. Hope you enjoy. One end came off real easy, undid the bolt and just lifted out. But this end here, I've taken the nut off him and he is in there solid. Doesn't even want to think about moving. So I took the nut off up further, off this arm here, thinking that I'd pull that out. Same story, it doesn't want to move either. Now I tried putting a wedge in behind it and tapping it gently, but no joy. So you know how people say life wasn't meant to be easy? That saying also applies to doing anything on a tractor, I think, because now I'm going to have to make a wheel puller to get that arm off. This is a new steering arm. I bent the pipe for the steering arm in the board that I stored, and you'll notice there's no clapping at all on the bends. I'll post links to the board project and the project where I bent this, showing you how to bend it without any deformation, just using the forge, in the description. Now I've got to weld these bolts into the end here so that I can provide some adjustment on these tie rod ends. Now TIG weld these in place. At one point I was considering stick welding them which is why I've got the nuts and everything in place because I was thinking they would protect the thread from spatter. I only just left myself enough room under it to weld in but I've decided that's not what I want to do. What I'm going to do, weld this one in first, just there. I'm going to TIG weld him. You can see I bought these two bolts and I stuck them in the lathe and I just turned them down so that they fit inside the pipe because I found it near impossible to buy thread in this size and I didn't have a die to cut a thread so this seemed like the obvious answer. And that's the new steering arm for the tractor. I've just got to set the adjustment, nip the nut up against the tie rod end so it won't move again. Give it a paint, make it look nice and pretty. And then I can change that out and all I've got to do is uh, rear out the hydraulics and I'm free to put in the front end loader tower on the left hand side. Well at long last I'm ready to replace this steering arm with a new one that I've made that will bypass where I'm going to install the front end loader. Now I've had the arm all thinking I was going to do it, it'll be an easy task, but it wasn't so I had to put the arm back on and I don't have the exact adjustments here for this, but I figure that with the original arm in place which is all welded together, everything has to be lined up correctly. So I should be able to just take that out and put the new one in and as long as I have the adjustment right, everything should just work from there. Just got to be sure I don't move that steering wheel while I'm doing it. That will probably be a bit of a critical issue there. As long as I don't move the steering wheel, we should all be good. Alright, I think that's probably about him. Now, let's go wind these locking nuts down. Need a bigger spanner to give them a nip up. Just wind them down into position for now. Okay, old rod off, new rod on. The grey colour doesn't match all that well, but never mind, that's what I had. Just checking for clearance. That's as far as you go that way, and yes, plenty of clearance. That's plenty. Clearance is clearance. And I've just got to squirt some grease in them, and he's good to go. Well there you have it, the steering arm now clears the mount for the front end loader. That worked out pretty good. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more of my other project videos, you can browse to my channel or visit my website. Don't forget to click like and subscribe for more. Until next time.